Hi, in this video, we're going to see how to use the new particles component inside of Create Studio. Take it away, Josh. All right, so we've just released this new component. And if you go over to effects and components, you'll be able to see under components, the particles component. So it's just like any layer, you just simply drag and drop it onto your timeline. And you can go ahead and resize it however long you want. And by default, we've got a snow looking particle effect. And with your component selected, you've got these three options. So the shuffle one basically enables you to generate a different path for your shapes. So you can see I've got this one. Um, you can also select a different shape. So if you're in a different shape for your particle, if I just scale it up, you can see you've got a whole bunch of other shapes and icons you can kind of use. Um, let's go with that kind of one over here. You can also adjust this, how many, or well, the count, so how many of the particles you've got. And we've also got presets over here as well. So as you can see, you've got these different types of snow looking ones. We've also got some like confetti like this. Um, we've got ones like this. And depending on what you're using it for, you might want to have just like kind of a background with some text. You can have it like so. And if I select this again, you can add additional colors or change your colors. So if you want that kind of a color, you can go ahead and just quickly change it around. You can add additional color on the plus icon, like so. And all these presets are made up of different properties and you'll be able to see down here. So we've currently got the directional animation. So it's going down. If we, got it, if we keep it on static, you can see enabled the orbiting over here and also the rotation. It's just kind of staying um, and kind of orbiting and rotating around. You've also got the spiral one, which has a spiral effect. Um, so let's go back over to directional. So it's just going to go down. If you want it to go up, what you can do is just simply rotate it around and it's going to go and float it like so. So you can kind of play around with that. Um, you can also, you know, uh, resize it like so. Bring it back over. And you can add additional properties. So for example, pulsating, which is going to make it kind of scale up. If I just um, bring up the strength, you can see it's kind of bouncing up and forward and back. We've also got swinging, which makes it go from left to right. So if I just bring this up, so we've got all those properties selected and we've also got blinking, which uh, basically adjusts the opacity. So it goes from zero to a hundred on. So you can really play around with that and create your own unique particles. Um, what you can also do, if I just um, bump up the scale, so you can go ahead, let's say you do something like this. What we could do is go and add another effects. So we can use the blur effect. If I just drag and drop that on like so. Bump up the blur. And then I just scale up this slightly. You can see we've got this kind of like a gradient background look. So you can you know, adjust the colors um, and create some really nice backgrounds that you can use for your text slides. Um, so yeah, you can really play around with these. Maybe I'll bring up the size a bit more. And you've got this kind of like a gradient look. Maybe we would also add a rotation and adjust the speed, bring it down a lot. Bring that speed down as well. So you can have some kind of interesting looking gradient effects. So just playing around with the colors, you have to create something pretty cool with this. Um, and yeah, what you can also do for the snow effect, if I just bring this back over like so, if you wanted to make it look even more realistic with the snow, what you can do is just grab the particle and place it down. And for this, I'm going to also go ahead and add another effect. So I'm going to go and over to effects and just bring on the edge feather. Um, you can also use the blur effect on that as well and just bring that down slightly. So let's say one and I'm going to bump up the size slightly. That's looking good. And now I'm just going to duplicate that command D and I'm going to select one of them and just shuffle it. So it has a different space and I can also go ahead and just bring up the size slightly as well. And I might change the shape, maybe something like that. And let's just preview that. So it's looking really, really nice. 
um, and quite realistic for that snow. So yeah, you can go ahead and play around with that. There's lots of uh, ways that you can use this effect um, to create some really cool designs for your videos. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. It's over in effects and then click on components. You've got your particle effect um, and you can go ahead and add this in your projects. And as always, have fun creating. Introducing the highly anticipated and game-changing new feature of Create Studio 3, Particles. With Particles, the possibilities are endless. Let your imagination run wild and create stunning visual effects that will impress your audience. Change your shape's particles. Add dynamic rotation, pulsating movements, swinging motions, orbiting patterns, and blinking effects. But that's not all. Particles allows you to customize every aspect of your effects. Adjust the speed to create slow and graceful movements or fast and energetic animations. Play with the size to create dramatic or subtle visual impact. Choose from a variety of styles to match your project's aesthetic. And don't forget about quantity. Now available inside Create Studio 3.